The regional challenge, drought and waterland, focuses on the seeming contrast between a country that is known and also branded around its ability to manage water. Most of Dutch citizens live below seawater levels. And the lesser known fact that also drought is a challenge to the Netherlands. But there's a growing concern that maybe in relation to drought at least, pure engineering and technology will not save us this time. What we need is new ideas around how to manage water and how to battle drought. And that is why we commissioned the Center for Genomic Astronomy to work together with V2 on this topic. My name is Zach Denfeld. I'm the co-founder of the Center for Genomic Astronomy. We call ourselves an artist-led think tank and we study food and biology and how it works in our contemporary food system. With this research, over the last few months, we've been visiting food forests in Norway and Netherlands, learning about how they currently work in the world and how people are preparing for an uncertain future, which might have more drought or more flooding, depending on where we're growing food in the world. Our hope is that we can create artwork and experiments that use food forestry techniques to prepare for this uncertain future. The reactions of people imagining what food tastes like in 20 years or 100 years were diverse. But uh, some of the reactions were excitement, some of them were maybe terror, actually having to contend not only with their own uh, death, but uh, potentially the difficult situation that would be leaving the future generations. When we started the research, our first port of call was to talk to scientists and policymakers about the future of water and chemical inputs in the Dutch uh, farming arena. One thing we found out was that in different parts of the Netherlands, it's very unclear if the future will have a lot more water or a lot less. And that's something that needs to be prepared for. In our work, we take the food forest models that are being uh, tried out throughout the Netherlands and throughout the world, and we create artworks that introduce people to the flavors and concepts from this new way of farming and helps them imagine and experience a much deeper sense of time. So stretching people's imagination, not only for what they might eat next season, but one decade from now, or how they want the future of their children's lives to be. As we've learned a lot about food forests and what they can do, we want to create artworks that use this knowledge to make places and performances that prepare for an uncertain water future. So we'd like to make a food forest first in Portugal and then hopefully one in the Netherlands and use these sites to interact with people over taste and location and feeling about the future of food we might have if we start today.